This is the biggest one in any school in our country right now. That's like mind blowing to think that nobody else has this. And you know, they say 30 years from now, this is how they'll grow almost all food in urban settings. Dr. Nicole made it possible through the Macaulay Foundation, which is amazing. So they've got us started and now it's kind of our responsibility to take care of it and learn as we go. And it's so neat for Lease to these. I feel so good about giving to them because it's people in our area, it's local people. The kids might not realize it, but they could be helping their neighbors, they could be helping their classmates, their peers. We're serving over 1,400 families a month right now that are Christian County families who are faced with food insecurity. And being able to provide a thousand of those families with fresh fruits and vegetables straight from here with a thousand heads of lettuce um, a month coming from these towers and this garden. I mean, that's huge. We are celebrating how education and innovation have come together in Nixa, Missouri. It's amazing. This is a project that we've been working on for six years. It started out at John Thomas School of Discovery and it's moved over to the junior high. This is a student-led project. This actually started with a student named Resnick Crawford and he saw the need in our community for feeding our, our neighbors. And so he spoke to his principal, Dr. Chastain, at the time at JTSD, and she listened. So through aeroponic growing, the water is down in the base, and every so often it comes up through the center and then rains down over the root system. And as it's doing that, the roots are sitting out here in the air. They're exposed to the oxygen. And so right now, they're getting thirsty and they're waiting for the next time that they're gonna have that water and nutrient mix. And it's by sitting out here in the air that it is what allows for that increased uptake. So they have just as much nutrient density as food that's grown in soil uh, organically. And that was a study they did at Ole Miss in 2013. It's different than hydroponic, this is aeroponic, and the aeroponic difference is that part of the time it's sitting out in the air. We're looking at urban agricultural areas to grow food, and so that's been neglected for the longest time because once the parking lot is paved, once the building is made, that takes up agricultural land or potential agricultural land. To redevelop areas, to grow crops, to grow even small livestock in urban areas is very important. And so not only does it help produce food for the local people in that community, but it also teaches and enlightens the people that grow it as well. I started the Macaulay Foundation because I grew up food insecure. Uh, I, I grew up hungry and we didn't always have food on our plate. In fact, looking for our next meal uh, was a full-time job. And I didn't want any other student to have to deal with that. And so we are here working to end hunger in this generation for Christian County. A teacher who changed my life, my third grade teacher, she taught me the power of a plant and so it's because of her that I'm here today doing this. Being able to talk to some of the families that we're giving these um, heads of lettuce out to right now, they are just in awe that there are kids in our community who are growing food for them and it's nutritious and it's good and you know, they're gonna take fresh produce any day over the canned produce that they get. And so being able to sustain that and provide that is just a godsend and we are so thankful.